individuals who are more avoidant, so they tend to endorse uh, statements like, I prefer not to depend on other people, or I'm not comfortable showing people how I feel deep down. In general, there's a sense of like, I like keeping people at arm's length, uh, and I don't really like showing my what's going on in here. I, I'd rather just keep everybody kind of like this. Typically, um, for avoidant folks, intimacy is hard and commitment is hard. Avoidantly attached folks are more likely to cheat. They're more likely to um, have non-committal sex. They're more likely to um, not share close emotions or needs with their partner. And their partners, in turn, are more likely to feel that their more avoidant partner is not very supportive. Um, on the anxious end of things, anxiously attached folks or folks who are high on that dimension of attachment anxiety are more likely to be very dependent on their partners, texting them all the time, and also really worried about the relationship. So they might endorse statements like, I worry a lot about my partner. I sometimes feel like I want to be close to my partner and they don't want to be as close to me. So there's this feeling of, I really want closeness, but sometimes that scares people off. Um, in part because it's such an intense need. Their needs have not been met in childhood. And so it's like, it's more difficult to get their needs met in close relationships. And really the fear is of being abandoned. So underneath all of these kind of um, intense relationship patterns uh, romantically, there's really just this feeling of, I just don't want you to leave me because I have this history of people not being reliable. Um, for anxious folks, they tend to have a pattern of um, being very uh, sensitive to rejection and um, to kind of make their partners anxious also. <laughs> if you've got a partner who's constantly like needing your reassurance, do you really love me? Uh, are you really there for me? Why didn't you text me back immediately? Were you out with somebody? I mean, if, if it, that is your constant experience, there's a tendency to be like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> maybe we should take a pause. Um, and so unfortunately, even though the desire is to bring people really close and keep them close, the result sadly is the self-fulfilling prophecy sometimes of pushing them away.